Okay, so I've just moved the battery insulator strip from my new pedometer, and you'll notice that it's given me an hour of 12, and that my step, it's in the step function, and it's showing me zero. So we want to set this pedometer up to personalize it for you. So the easy way of doing that is if we look at the back of it, there's three buttons. The top button is the memory function. We're not going to concern ourselves with that uh, at this point in time. Just uh, the one on the outside is our set or save button. And the one partially beneath the clip is our reset button. And that's the one that we're going to be using to make all of our changes today. To make it easier to reach under the clip, I'm going to take a AA battery, open up the clip, and I'm going to stick it through just like that. And that's going to prop up uh, this clip enough so that I can easily reach uh, the reset button underneath. So to enter the setting sequence, I'm going to hold down the outside set button for five seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn over my machine here, and when I'm hitting the buttons, I'll show you what I'm doing, but I'm going to be sliding my finger between setting and resetting, so saving and changing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down this button for five seconds. First, what I need to do is make sure that my pedometer is on the step function. You can see that right here. So if, before I enter the setting sequence, right at the start, if I move my mode button or click my mode button, I can see that I'm in, I have step, then I have miles or distance traveled, then I have calories burned, and the last one is my activity, and my activity counts the number of hours, minutes, and seconds that I've done an activity over a given day. So it's showing me my hours, my minutes, and the number just below is the seconds. So I'm going to go back to my step mode, since that's what I, the mode I need to be in to enter my setting sequence, and I'm going to hold down this outside button, this setting button, for five seconds. So here we go. And then you'll notice this black square for set, and it's showing me 12. So if I go and flip this over again and I click my change or reset button, oops, sorry, I clicked back out of this here. If it flicked back to the time and it's showing you a step of zero, what's happened is you've exited the setting sequence. After 10 seconds of inactivity, it's exits. So in that case, I would just hold down this set button again for five seconds to enter that mode. So you'll notice it's flashing 12. If I click the inside reset button, I can toggle between a 24-hour format and a 12-hour format. I'm going to click the set button to save 12 hours. And now it's bringing me to my hour. Your particular pedometer only saves or only shows PM. It doesn't show AM. And so I'm in the afternoon hours. So at the moment, I'm clicking the inside reset button to cycle up through my hours. And it's currently 3 in the afternoon. And the minutes, I'm going to change those. I'm going to save the 3, move over to my minutes, and then use this reset button on the inside to cycle up to 315. There we go. And I'm going to save that.